In this video, we are going to explain the six steps of the technological design process. When a human being has a need or a problem, they try to find a solution. Okay, we've had a problem here. The technological design process permits us to make an object that provides a solution to said problem. In order to achieve this, we need to perform a series of six steps that are as follows. First, recognize our need. Second, design a solution. Third, plan its construction. Fourth, construct the object that we have designed. Fifth, verify that the entire process has been completed correctly. Sixth, and finally, collect everything in a report. So, let's talk a little bit about each of the steps. The first step is recognize the need. Recognizing the need is the starting point to subsequently design the object. It is very important to collect in detail the specific needs that we want to resolve. We will not be able to carry out an accurate design if we do not know which of the characteristics are needed to complete our product. For example, if we want to construct an object that flies, the capability of flying cannot be the only requirement for our solution. Why? Because all of these inventions can fly. However, it is not the same to design a helicopter that rescues people than it is to design a fighter jet. The specific requirements for each example makes the final design very different. And we should know that each of the details or necessary requirements so that our object su successfully solves our need. The second step is design the solution. Here, what we are going to need to do is look up information about objects or designs that already exist and that solve similar problems to our own problem. We will not always find a solution that is perfectly adapted to our problem, but we can take an idea that already exists and adapt it to our own needs. Think of the engineers that developed the first rocket capable of carrying humans into space. To be the first means that nobody before had designed a rocket, but they found objects that serve as an inspiration for their design. The design has to adapt itself to our knowledge, to our tools, and to our materials, but also to the time that we have for the construction, to the budget that we have assigned, and including our own likes. Because the aesthetic also forms a part of the design. If we work as a team, we can carry out a brainstorming session and later vote on those ideas that seem better. When we find a design that suits us, we have to describe it in the most precise way possible. And in technology, in order to detail an object, we use plans. We have to create plans of the object as a whole and also plans for each of its individual pieces. The plans should be correctly finalized and preferably to scale. The third step is the planning. Here, we need to make a detailed list of all the tools we are going to use, and another list with the materials and its price, to know the real cost of the project. A project would also take into account additional costs, for example, labor, renting, machinery, and licenses. Another important part of the planning is detailing in correct order the tasks that will be completed and assign each task a determined time as well as a person responsible for it. This part of the planning process is completed with PERT diagrams, but in the first steps of the technological process, we can use a similar table like this.
The fourth step is the construction. After the design and planning phase, the moment of beginning construction arrives. During construction, all of the plans made in the design and previous planning phase will be followed at all times. If we consider it necessary to make any variation, we will take note of it in order to reflect on it afterwards in the report. And lastly, during construction, all of the safety rules will be mandatorily respected, and it is recommended to take photographs of each step in order to include them in the report. The fifth step is the verification. Verification is important to assure us that the entire process has been developed correctly. A part of the verification is done side by side with the construction, evaluating each piece that is fabricated in each step of the assembly. In this way, we can detect and correct errors before it is too late. The last part of the verification is done at the end of, the, of construction. And what are we checking? Well, we're checking that the operation is correct, the structural resistance of the object, and the success of the overall design. In this verification process, we can also include proposals of improvements for our product. The last of the steps is to write a report. The report is a written document in which all the information generated during the previous steps is collected. The objective of the report is to communicate with other people the exact process in order to construct the object that we have designed. This document will have the following parts. A cover page, an index, a description of the need that we want to resolve, a description of the technological object, plans for the object, a list of tools, a list of materials and proposal, a construction plan, photos of the construction, and ideas of improvement. These steps of the technological process, although they can seem complicated, really are very intuitive. A typical example of this theme is how to prepare a birthday cake. 